Now, let's have a metric micrometer caliper. This caliper can measure up to 0.01 millimeters. It is written right here, 0.01 millimeter. As you turn the rache knob, the measuring parts open up. This is called the spindle, and this is the anvil. The spindle moves while the anvil does not. Now let's see how this caliper works. Let us start first with the barrel scale. You read the barrel scale by looking at the edge of the part that turns. This is called the thimble. You begin by looking at the marks. You notice that there are two sets of marks. The marks above the line are millimeters, while the marks below are half the millimeters. That means this is 0.5, this is 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, and so on. Let's stop here just to check if you are with me. What do you think is the mark shown in the barrel scale? Do you say 5 millimeters? You're right, that's 5 millimeters. Let's have another one. How about this measurement? What do you think is the reading on the barrel scale? Just pause the video and look carefully. Do you say 6.5? Then you're right. See, this is 5, 5.5, 6, and 6.5. So that is 6.5 millimeters. That's the reading of our barrel scale. Now how about the markings on the thimble? As I have mentioned a while ago, this caliper can measure up to 0.01 millimeters. That is exactly the value of each marking on the thimble. 0.01 millimeter. So this is 0 0.00, 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, and so on. Now, let us try to put all of this together and try to figure out what this reading is. First, the barrel scale. See that mark? That is 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 millimeters, right? Then, we read the thimble. Remember that each marking on the thimble is equivalent to 0.01 millimeters? That means that is 0 0.40, 0 0.41, 0 0.42 millimeters, and a little bit over. What do you think that is? That will be our estimate. So we are going to estimate that. And let's say that our best estimate is halfway. So the reading of our thimble will be 0 0.425 millimeters. And that 5 there is our estimate. So, what will be the reading of this measurement? Just add the reading of your thimble to the reading of your barrel. That means the reading of this one is 13.425 millimeters. That means this micrometer caliper can read up to three decimal places. So you must report the reading of this micrometer caliper up to three decimal places. Now let's have another example. What about this one? First, the barrel scale. Pause the video and try to figure out the reading of the barrel scale. Do you say 7.5 millimeters? Then, ink you're wrong. That is only 7 millimeters, right? Now, look at the thimble. Pause the video and try to figure out the reading of the thimble. Do you say 0.44 millimeters? Good. 
and it's almost 0.45, right? So, what will be your estimate? Ako a 8, ayaw pag -buot. Again, that is an estimate, our uncertainty, cause of random error. So, the reading of this symbol is 0.448 millimeters. Then, just add it to the borrow scale, and you have 7.448 millimeters. Got it? Very good. Let us try another example. What will be the reading of this measurement? First, the barrel scale. Pause the video and try to figure out the reading of the barrel scale. Done? Do you say 16.5 millimeters? You're right. This is 15, 15.5, 16, and 16.5 millimeters. So, 16.5 millimeters. Now, Look at the thimble. Pause the video and try to figure out the reading of the thimble. Do you say 0.23 millimeters? You're right. And it's a bit over. So, estimate. What is your best estimate? Ako a 7. Kung 6 muha, that is your estimate. Remember, that is an estimate. That is our uncertainty. So, the reading of the thimble is... 0.237 millimeters. Then just add it to your barrel scale and you have 16.737 millimeters. Got it? Very good.